Guys, welcome to another charity shop tour video. Uh, you can probably tell there's a slightly different background to normal and that's because I've actually moved into the games room now. But I'm not quite ready to show you everything yet. I have got some footage of me doing it up, but I still need to get some furniture and a couple of other bits sorted before I'm ready to show you. But guys, trust me, there's gonna be a full games room video on the horizon. But for now, we're gonna head on over to Colville and Loughborough and do some charity shop hunting. Right then guys, let's start off in Colville's YMCA. Uh, yeah, we've got some uh, DS games from the get-go. Now there's a Professor Layton game there, which I only actually really seen, noticed, should I say, during uh, during filming this. I kind of regret not picking that up, but yeah. Oh, well, you know, spoiler alert, I didn't take the Professor Layton game. But there's some PS2 titles there and, and some decent 360 games. You know, there's some... Gears of War, Modern Warfare, there's the obligatory FIFA as per normal, but you know what, that's quite a nice selection of games there. Yeah, I'd say the YMCA, and this is in Colville by the way, was pretty good. Right then, we go to the uh, an animal rescue charity shop and see what these have got going on. Now, there's a shelf there, but all full of DVDs, but over here there's a basket. Now, normally I don't like it when they chuck games in baskets, but this one you can get to see everything. It's when there's more than one layer it really gets me, but obviously, as you can see, that's not the case here. Um, but, you know, we're looking pretty good. A couple of Blu-rays at the front, some 360 titles. I'd say as far as baskets of video games go in charity shops, they could do much, much worse than that. Monster High. Something to do with rollerblading. Epic. Right, Animal Sanctuary Charity Shop. Occasionally find some bits chucked in boxes out the front, just like that, but uh, not in this one. So there's me mate Neil, look, heading in first to grab the bargains. So let's see what they've got, look. A couple of DS games there. Do you know what? This was not a bad charity shop. See, all games there, £1.50. So I'll assume any prices that were on any of these games, uh, we can ignore because they'll all be £1.50. Now, there's a couple down here. Unfortunately, the two here that I'm just taking out didn't have the original cases. But you know what? I'd have snatched that up. Sniper 2, if it had, had the original case, the same as, well, I say Assassin's Creed Black Frag. You know what, I probably would for £1.50, I'd probably have had that, but I'm not going to take it without the original case. Now, this jam sessions for the, the, the DS, I'd have liked that, but it was so damaged at the top corner. Now, if it wasn't for the fact that the paper underneath, the label underneath wasn't damaged too, I'd have had it, but it was, so I put it back. A uh, couple of random bits and pieces here, look, but... Nothing gaming related, unfortunately. Connects, big box of connects. That'll keep me going for a while. A few random bits, but nothing of any importance. So in men cap, let's see what's going on in here. Now look at this. World of Warcraft Mega Blocks. I had to get this on footage, guys, because I mean I've not seen it before. And I think it looks pretty cool. Now I haven't played WoW in a long time. Because to be quite honest with you, I like to experience other games. And when I'm playing WoW, I just tend to soak all my time into that. But I thought these looked pretty cool. They said they're brand new looks, so, you know. But yeah, something a bit different, isn't it? Look at that lot. Right then, off to Loros. Now these had quite a few uh, like vintage toys that you'll see in a minute. But as far as gaming goes, um, we've got one of these Disney uh, Infinity things which was three pounds. But I want to show you guys some other little bits because, you know, some of this looks quite cool. Uh, Spider-Man toy there and some wrestling bits down here. Not like I know much about that, but thought it all looked quite cool. Yeah, tons of stuff in here, but nothing gaming wise. So over to Rainbows. Now they've got a little little shelf, little cute shelf there. Look, we have a few little games on uh, Nothing major, mind you. Mainly sports stuff, as usual. Uh, but yeah, Bioshock Infinite there for the 360. Looks pretty decent, £2.50. I'm not sure whether that's a good price or not. I think it kind of sounds about right, to be honest, that one. But yeah, so that one looks pretty cool. So over to Oxfam. Now, personally, I didn't do any good in here. But uh, there was some games and there was some good games at that. 
couple of PS4 games as well. Now, my mate, Neil, snatched these up and he were dead chuffed to bits with himself. He'll show you what he got in a second. That's Gran Turismo 5 there, but it just seemed a little expensive at 2 99 It was sealed, but I think that was just Oxfam. So, uh, yeah, let me uh, ask Neil what it was he's picked up. Because he's dead happy with himself with these, and I think he's even on about playing them. But he's got Destiny 1 and Destiny 2. Right then, guys, that's it. So yeah, I didn't pick up the two Destiny games, guys. That was my friend. He paid £1.99 for the first Destiny game. And he paid £2.99 for Destiny 2. And they were they were from Oxfam. So yeah, he said he was going to be playing them later on that day. Whether he did or he didn't, I have no idea. But let me show you guys what I picked up. I took three games away on this run. First of all, for the PlayStation 2, Mercenaries. Now, according to, I think that's PlayStation Magazine, he's got a 9 out of 10, absolutely must play for a quid. You know what? I will. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the manual, but the disc is in very nice condition. So, yeah, that's Mercenaries for the PlayStation 2 for a quid. Next up, and I'm not quite sure why I paid £2 for it, but I did. I'm guessing it's for charity, and that's Call of Duty 3. Um... Again, I kind of look back and I think, why well, did I pay two quid? But you know what? It's for charity, so I do not mind. This is complete. But yeah, for the PlayStation 2, Call of Duty 3. You know what? I'll probably never play that, in all honesty. Now, like I said, picked up three games. This one, the grand finale. Brr, drum roll. <laughs> How can you live without Monster High Skultimate Roller Maze for a quid? You know what, I feel honoured and privileged to have this absolute corker added to my collection. Oh, guys, honestly, absolutely epic. I always try to give you guys a realistic view of what I'm finding in the charity shops. I don't want to make videos where I go around and find absolutely awesome games that you guys aren't going to be able to do yourself. So everything I do is real, and basically it's me showing you what's actually about in reality. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've not already, like and subscribe. We do get some fantastic charity shop pickups as well, some real gems, and sometimes they're not quite as good like this one. But that was Colville and Loughborough. Guys, thanks very much, and I'll see you again next time. Take care.